Wow. 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 This is nuts. So Doc 2, official trailer. I'm not gonna watch the trailer, by the way. This is number one on trending in India, and I think it has the most downvotes ever. I think this has more downvotes than even YouTube Rewind videos, and those were pretty well disliked. This has to be the first time in YouTube history where something is trending at number one and is also simultaneously in the millions of downvotes. Way more uh, downvotes than upvotes. What are we looking at, 95% downvotes here? Based on the gray bar? I thought we could peruse the comments and see what's in there, probably lovely, lovely words. Achara had told me about this trailer and she was like, do you, do you wanna do a reaction? I was like, why wouldn't I? <laughs> no, that's not what happened. So uh, she did tell me about the trailer and I was like, yeah, we should probably just not do that. It's not a good idea. And I understand why. I understand people's grievances and, and uh, their opposition to the trailer. It, it does make me a tad curious to watch it. Not gonna lie. That's me being real with you guys, but I won't. I'm not gonna look at it. It seems like this is gonna be a film that even reviewers stay away from because They'll, they'll put out a review just for it to get downvoted to hell. It's just gonna go It's like, what are you? This is sort of just done. I, I do wonder if people would watch this. Like the internet audience is a little bit different from like the film going on. And I mean, obviously there's a lot of overlap, but I'm, I'm fairly certain there's this substantial amount of people that aren't voting on YouTube and aren't commenting and are probably totally open to watching this. I can't say for sure but I would just imagine. Anyway, three streams, three stories, one journey. Stay tuned for Sadak 2. Are you gonna watch it? Are you gonna watch it just out of, cur just out of curiosity? Are you gonna check it out? Are you gonna be like, oh, I wanna know. I wanna know. I searched this trailer only to dislike it and read comments. Who searched this trailer only to dislike? Who wants this trailer to get most disliked video on YouTube? I think it's quite possible this is the most, 8.3 8 8 million downvotes. Who want, who all wants 10 million dislikes? Who searched this trailer to dislike? Bollywood no more, we just boycott Bollywood mafia forever. This is intense. Who searched this trailer only to dislike? Who did search this trailer just to dislike in 2025? And there's 13 upvotes from the future. The dislike button shows how the people are against the nepotism. Ah, there's gotta be at least a couple votes in there where people just didn't like the trailer. Guys, dislikes is just not enough. Please do not watch this movie. Four replies. Yes, you are right. 100% right. Cute. Get all the naptisms. Movie flop. Who disliked the trailer even without viewing it? Proud to be disliker. My girlfriend liked this trailer and now she is my ex. Take oath with me. We do swear in the name of God that we will bear true faith and allegiance to the real talent of India as by God established them. We will uphold the integrity of Indian talent. And as an Indian, dot, dot, dot. I wonder if he's... Hold on. I think he's trolling people. I never pay for entertainment. Anyone are here who want that this trailer got 25 million dislikes? You know, the vote ratio is actually quite interesting. This is actually quite a lot of feedback. It's got 33 million views and 8.3 million downvotes. That's actually significant because I feel like the average amount of votes contributed to any video you watch on YouTube, even if you look at the votes on this one, it's generally about 10% of the views. I meant 5%. Uh, generally around 5% or less of the total view count is how many votes you'll see total. Here, it's almost a third. I mean, maybe it's closer to a fourth. It's between a third and a fourth. That's a significant amount of feedback. That's a lot of votes for a video. That's just crazy. That's a very passionate amount of votes. I wonder what Bollywood is supposed to do moving forward. Like obviously the, you know, people don't want nepotism to have as strong a hold in Bollywood anymore, right? But, but where do you go from there? Because if every movie you have has unknown talent. I mean, it's just a tricky thing. So if every movie you have going forward is unknown talent, are people gonna watch it? Obviously, this shifts your uh, dependency from star power to story power. And hopefully that is uh, meaningful, more meaningful going forward. This trailer is not good either. I would have given one more dislike if there were two dislike buttons. Today, I feel sad that I only have one Google account for dislike. It seems like they're too scared to release the movie and just somehow managed to cook up the trailer knowing anyways it's gonna get the most highest dislikes. It seems interesting to me that this is still trending number one. W weirdly, the reason why it's trending number one is because of how many people are coming back to vote. I wonder how many of these are individual accounts and how many of these are people who have multiple YouTube accounts to increase the vote, the downvote ratio. I feel really sad to see such a negative comment section. A film does not involve only two people, it involves many. And what about Sanjay, sir? What is his mistake? I respect everyone who support SSR, but supporting one doesn't mean hating others. This is only my opinion, feel free to express yours. I think that this guy does have a point 
but it's it's tough. He he's right. Like this is something that I think about all the time whenever a show gets canned because of one actor or something. Like House of Cards got shelved completely. Like it just got canceled because of Kevin Spacey and the whole controversy around him. Then they went for one more season without him. Roseanne, she had a show that was a continuation of her old show and she said something on Twitter that got her in a lot of trouble. And so Disney canceled the show, but but like there's a lot of people on that show, n not just the actors, but crew members and whatnot. So they managed to bring back everyone but Roseanne for that show just to keep everyone employed and keep that show going on in some way. It is a little bit concerning that so many people have worked on this movie and none of them will get their recognition because, well, for obvious reasons. Sanjay Dutt does not deserve all this hate. He did nothing wrong. He even has lung cancer. May God cure him fast, but Ali and others do deserve the hate. I did a little bit of uh, perusing about I mean, it can't be helped at this point, right? I did a little bit of perusing, trying to understand the situation a little bit better, and I think I might do a video talking about what I've learned about the situation with SSR uh, so far. There are some hair-raising questions. I'm not buying into it yet, but, but like I am exploring it in an effort to understand things better. And, you know, there are just some peculiar things. What I'm wondering most is how long this energy will last, because oftentimes what happens in the States is that People will get excited about something and they'll talk a lot about it. It'll be all over Instagram for a while. And then it just sort of tapers off and people get go back to the status quo. Is this like a thing where Ali Abad is never welcome back? Is that what people want? They never want her to act again? Is that the objective here? Foxstar Hindi has most liked trailer in world, Dil Bachara, but also has most disliked trailer in the world. That's actually a very interesting comment. It's coming from the same company. My biggest question is where do we go from here? Where do we take things from here? Let's set aside Sushant Singh Rajput's uh, case, the uh, ongoing investigation with all that, like let's set that aside for a second because the concept and conversation around nepotism has been going on for a while. Sushant Singh Rajput just sort of catapulted this. I'm wondering what people want to come next, the outrage, like what is what are the list of demands? Because people don't want nepotism, but the thing about it is when you are in a position where you can help out your friend, your son or daughter or sister or brother, you know, whatever the case may be, if you're in that position, you're trying to help out those closest to you because you can. It's a natural feeling and desire to help out those closest to you. For instance, with the channel, right? Achara is a friend of mine. I didn't like audition for the best co-host. I just knew her. I just brought her on the channel. And so she's a friend. And now she's got a substantial following on the internet because I helped a friend out in a way that is nepotism. No one seems to be upset about that. So I understand this is a radically different thing from what is upsetting people regarding Sushant Singh Rajput. I get it. It's like the, that's a whole another level, but the word nepotism keeps coming back and that's been coming back in conversation for a long time. I watched Fatima Sana Sheikh and uh, Harsh Vardhan Kapoor on, on a, at a round table conversation and it came up, you know, how uh, Fatima Sana Sheikh and the other two actors at the table all had to, you know, pound the pavement. They had to work their way into that position. Whereas Harshvard and Kapoor was sort of born into it, right? But it seemed to me in that in, in that instance, people understood that, you know, if they were Anil Kapoor, they would have helped out their son. If they were Harshvard and Kapoor, they would have taken that opportunity themselves. Does that necessarily make him a bad guy? Again, setting aside Sushant Singh Rajput's unfortunate situation, event, that, it's hard to talk about. Setting that aside, do you just cast out everybody who can benefit from nepotism? Because again, outside of the film industry, nepotism is everywhere. It's just a thing, like it's it's everywhere. And it's it's a natural way of doing things that because pe people want to help out their family. They want to help out their friends. They want to help out those closest to them. What's not clear to me is what people want, like what, what they're hoping for exactly. Because I don't think you can kill nepotism. I don't think there's a way to just end it. I'm kind of rambling, I'm gonna stop. This is this was an interesting uh, situation here. The comments are a, a lot of repeat comments, just people saying pretty much echoing the same idea over and over again. If there was nefarious, uh, malicious acts involved in Sushant Singh Rajput's passing, I absolutely think that those people need to be brought to justice. I I just I'm confused about this. Maybe you guys can help me out in the comments and help me understand this and if it's a good thing. Uh, that this is happening like this because like what what is the next step? You know, that's what I keep coming back to is like, okay So who else do you kick out from Bollywood that has benefited from nepotism? Who else do you disown? Who 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 else 
is, who else's posters do you give up? Who else's movies do you burn? Who else's, you know, like who else do you stop paying attention to because they benefited from nepotism? Because it's almost like you'd have to get rid of half of Bollywood if you got rid of nepotism. If anyone who benefited from that, you know, just suddenly has to stop working. That's a lot. That's a lot of people. I'm just confused. I'm confused about the desires of the people. I want to understand it better. And that's really what this comes down to. So yeah, that's it, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed some of that. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'm Jabby Kawai. Peace out.